You miss me grinding, hope you not hating. But leveling, it's not light or pretty. It's not light or pretty. It's not light or pretty. What's up, guys? Edquarters here, and as I said in that little opening sentence, I did a little off camera work, you know. No, not that sort of off camera work. Don't know what sort you're thinking about, but I feel that you've got a dirty mind. So, I killed a few things. I got some souls. I leveled some stuff up. I'm a bit better now. I'm like. I'm like the strongest guy ever. I'm level 18. I don't even know what level I was before. But I've done that. I've changed my weapon. I've got a broadsword now. Because broadswords are the best. They're, they're not the best weapon, I don't, I don't think. But it was better than my last sword and I upgraded it even. So it's broadsword plus one. So stuff's a little bit easier to kill now. I should hopefully be dying less. Which is getting to be a bit of annoyance because I died... Lost all my souls. Lost my chance to level up, basically. And, uh, as you can see, I'm just shredding through him. And he's shredding through me still. Just a little bit. Because I, I lost concentration, didn't I? There we go. He's, de he's dead. He's down. The Ooh, Lothric Knight Sword. Can, can, I, can I have you? No, you need, you need more... Dexterity. Okay, well, the dragon's still there. I also opened up this passageway by running through dragon fire. And now that these guys come to life, they're, they're, they're not... They're not actually, uh... They're not dead. They're just feigning it. They look dead. But they're just, just lying down. Anyway, so it should be a bit easier to get through things. I'm still a bit annoyed that it's so... So dark in here. I want to get a torch. Thought about buying a torch, but, you know, shield, torch, which provides more protection, really. A shield, definitely. Well, I suppose the sword offers the best protection. Just stabbing people in the bum. That's going well, and I traded in my Estus Flask shard with Andre, which gave us some more Estus Flask uses. Basically, just lets us use, use some more bottles. It's like we went to the bottle bank, got some more bottles. We basically foraged around in a bin and got, got some more life flasks. I don't even know what's in them. It looks like some sort of high energy drink. Like, you know, just just a sports drink. Fluorescent orange. Like it give you a bit of pep. You get off. And these guys, they don't all come to life, I discovered. And this guy, you can do the plungy attack, which is, is, is always fun because they never expect it. They're like, I'm just chilling out here. Don't really know what I'm guarding. Why am I even here? And that guy, you can kill before he becomes a massive dragon bum head thing. Which is good because massive dragon bum heads, they're not good for your life expectancy. I mean, I've heard some doctor's reports that it can even cut 20 years off your life. Oh, I forgot about you though, didn't I? I remembered you though. Off you get. I didn't quite get you in time, but I got all the rest of you. Do to do, do to do, fun time ladder times. Anyway, that, that's fun time ladder times over for now. No, oh, yes. O okay, you, you can have that. This big bastard comes back every time. Just wandering about his little area, which he loves. He also loves to still kill me. Can't say I'm the biggest fan. But I stabbed him in the bottom. Everyone knows the most effective way to kill things is to shove a, a big sword that's just been in some flame because I burnt myself a little bit, but that was part of my plan. I just got a big, big old flamey sword shoved up his bum. Not quite how it works, but I sealed it shut. I mean, if he'd run away, he would have been pooping not well. He would not have been pooping well is probably what I'm trying to say. Ooh. Those are some... There's no one in that armor. It's leg pieces flying everywhere. So last time, oh, there's a guy up here. And there's a guy down here. So I haven't been this way yet because there were some scary night guys, but I, I can take on scary night guys now, sort of, sometimes. Sometimes I'm good, oh. There's quite a few of you though. 
Come on then, you come up here where I know that there's not anyone else. Just bait you. Bait you. Like, come on if you think you're hard enough. And you're like, uh, yeah. You're, you're so stabby. What is your beef? Yeah, I'm still getting used back, back to, back, back to sort of used to Dark Souls. It takes a bit of a different kind of tack to other games. Usually, at least. That that bit was probably foolish on my part. But there we go. We got him down. That was a lot easier. I didn't die nearly as much. But this place is lovely. I mean, just look at that. Oh, it's like a cathedral. you got some nice little leaves here and some nice statue things. And what's down here? Oh, it's the rock. There's loads of the rock. Wow, Dwayne Johnson has, like, stand-ins. Oh, here's a guy. Hello, guy. You're just chilling on the steps, are you? That's nice for you. And you? You just gonna gonna attack me, are you? You got a shield. You could attack me, but you, you ain't going to. So I'm not entirely sure why they were cutting the rocks all the way here. Bit of a niche interest. Oh, niche interest. Maybe some sort of pilgrimage? Maybe they just loved rocks and they, they all had... Do you ever have pet rocks when you were kids? Maybe they were just bringing their pet rocks to show off to who is it, whoever's at the top of the stairs. Do you think it's a boss? Do you think it's a big boss who's covered in rocks? They're like, I'm an angry rock. I, I don't think it's going to be an angry rock. Oh. If I'm perfectly honest. I would be surprised. It's a bit unfair that you've got such a long pointy rod. Here, said the actress to the bishop. There we go. Down you go. Go on, have a, have a little sleep on the stairs. You know you want to. So we're going to go into this place, which... That shaft of light hits that perfectly. This must have taken some work. You must have had some good architects back in the day before everything went to shit. How, d how did you stop like there? Mid-pose. That rock's really heavy. Like, even this is frozen. You like frozen in time? Wow. Deep. Are you gonna attack us? Try attacking. Ah, look carefully and then no head ahead. Oh, you've actually got a face. You're not all covered up like the people ah, back in the shrine. The wait has been long, unkindled one. It has. How long have you been Emma, sat there? High Priestess of Lothric Castle. Oh, it's a castle. Allow me to speak frankly. Okay, Frank. You will not find the Lords of Cinder here. They Sigh. Oh, oh, really? To their journey homes converging at the base of this castle. Churning homes. Head to the bottom of the high wall. But I just got to the top Forge of the high wall. On through the great gate and raise this banner to proceed. What banner? Oh, that banner. Okay. This Let's have another chat. Oh, you, you got more gifts. It is the insignia Ooh, of the Covenant. Old covenant. That's nice. If you fear trespassers, dark spirits drawn by the I do fear them a little bit. I haven't been invaded yet. This upon your heart. Oh, yes. And the old concord etch it on my heart. Blue sentinels to hunt these foul oh, spirits. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, we got it. We got a Unkindled little one. achievement. Go through the but beware. The dog keeps a close eye on things. What, what dog? The vile watchdog of the oh, that dog. valley. Okay. Okay, yeah, 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 I heard you, I heard you. You got some nut- Oh, I just broke your chairs. I'm sorry. Sorry. Not sorry. So you keep anything in this big castle that you're just all sat in by yourself? Now what do you do for fun around here? You got an organ or anything? You, you just literally sit there. I mean, your carpet's all messed up and rucked up. What happened to the housekeeper? Where did they go? Well, you said go to the Great Gate, so I'm guessing and you said there was a watchdog. So either we've got Aiden Pierce, you know, gloomy watchdog McGee, just watching over the gate, like, hi, I'm going to shoot you in the face. I'm so tortured. Oh, dear me. No. Well, I should not have attempted to fight you, should I? Because you look fucking scary. Go away, you big glowy sword man. 
You don't look like the best of chums. We're not going to be friends. Look, just because you've got a glowing sword does not mean diddly squit. Jeez. Jeez. No. Yeah, you stay there, stuck on that bit of wall. Okay? Don't come down. Oh, do come down. Okay. Yeah, you stay there. You stay there. No, stay there. Don't drop down. Just go away. Alright? I'm not your friend. I don't wear blue. I'm not blue. Abadee, abada. Abadee, abada. Okay, I died. Thanks for that. Thanks for that blue man. Blue man group. Well, you. I hope that you're no longer a member of the Blue Man Group. That's what I hope. I hope they, they seriously reconsidered your application to be a part of it. And then just went, no. You know, too violent. You don't get on with others. Gotta get my souls. I love that you've got these little wings on your back. Like, like anything that stubby is ever going to make your little tubby body fly. Seriously, you could do with losing a few pounds. I know that your your clothes wouldn't fit then. But that that'd be your problem. You could probably like pick up some of these guys' clothes. Get get lean. Lean in fifteen. You shouldn't attack people on stairs, because it's a silly place to attack people. Cause you die on stairs. Have you never heard the rhyme? If you fight on stairs, it's you who will be dead. It's not really a rhyme as such. Right, well, I think I'll leave that episode there. And next time we'll try and go through that big old gate that we saw at the bottom of the steps, I think. So thank you all for watching. I hope you're still all enjoying the Souls series. I've been Ed Quarters. This has been Dark Souls 3. And I'll see all of you in the next video. ta for now.